Impaction of premolars is much rarer than impaction of the wisdom teeth or canines. In this 13-year-old patient, premolar 1-5 is impacted and displaced palatally. It can already be identified from the slight bulge under the palatal mucosa. The OPG and open mouth maxilla view show the position of the impacted tooth clearly. To remove the impacted premolar, vestibular and palatal infiltration with local anesthetic is required. To expose the impacted tooth crown, a trapezoid incision is made. The palatine artery must be spared by further relieving vertical incisions. Usually, however, the operative approach to the displaced tooth can be exposed without any problem by stretching the mucoperiosteal flap without the palatine artery tearing. The nearby roots must also be borne in mind. The remainder of the circumference of the impacted crown is dissected out linearly with a fine Lindemann burr. Thus prepared, the tooth can then be elevated out with a fine elevator. After removal of tooth 1-5 and its follicle with a forceps, the palatal flap is replaced and sutured. The wound is then covered for about a week with a shape retaining acrylic plate. Surgical removal of the mandibular premolars is much more difficult because of the vicinity of the inferior alveolar nerve and the mental foramen. Before the operation, the position must be determined accurately by appropriate x-rays. The mental foramen can be seen clearly on the OPG with the impacted tooth 4-5 mesial to it. In this 12-year-old patient, the operative procedure is performed from the vestibular side. Vestibular and lingual terminal infiltration of local anesthetic is quite adequate. If the gap over the impacted tooth has not yet closed, 
the trapezoid mucoperiosteal flap is dissected on the alveolar ridge and vestibule. When elevating it, the mental foramen should be exposed carefully. Only then is the tooth crown exposed in its greatest circumference with a surgical burr. After adequate exposure, the impacted tooth 4-5 is now dislocated out with a fine elevator. After curetting the tooth bed, the mucoperiosteal flap is replaced and fixed with sutures. <laughs>